All right, so a little different trailer reaction this time as a family. Uh, <laughs> because this is kids horror, uh, I thought I'd bring the kids for the <laughs> horror trailer review reaction. So, uh, Goosebumps. Um, now, our relationship with Goosebumps is a little different. You guys are Goosebumps fans of the Jack Black movies. Yes. And. So. Kaylee and I are fans of the original TV series. I you, like in the book the series. You guys have seen the original show, but your relationship with this is much more in line with the new movies. You you guys were actually really into the the movies. I saw them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so our excitement level is, is is pretty high for this, and mm -hmm. to get another Goosebumps show is exciting. Uh, it should be rated PG fourteen. And it's, yeah, it's going straight to Disney Plus. We got Justin Long here Yay! in the um, little thumbnail here, so yeah! that's cool. He that's seems to be popping cool. up in all sorts of horror stuff these days. And uh, let's check it out. Six days ago, I guess we're really late oh, on this. <laughs> we have to start uh, I don't think. No, this is it. Yeah. This is the beginning. Much higher production value. Where's the dogs? Yeah. Arf, 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 arf. That's it. The Boo House. I did hear the horrible story about the boy who used to live there. Yeah, I hear it's haunted. I think we're going to see Carly Beth. Oh my god. It, she's dressed like Beatrix Kiddo. Say she's not. Oh, yeah. Not that I can think of. Whoa, okay. So is this going to be like one story? Not an anthology? There's no such thing as a cursed dude. That isn't real. What? Doppelgangers? It's coming out Friday On the Friday the 13th, yeah. yeah. Nobody's going to be watching it. A haunted mask. This is all connected. He's getting revenge. I want our parents did to him. Oh my god, we're murdering Nepo babies. <laughs> oh, what's just going on? It's obvious you know. That's why all of this is happening to us. Yeah. Who's the woman? It keeps looking like Rebecca De Mornay, but I can't tell. I, I, I don't know. That's the cuckoo clock of. Oh yeah, yeah. of Doom or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there's Slappy. Why does he have real hair? I don't know. What, what the hell? We need to talk. Why does James smell like watermelon, Charlie Ranch? I was just going to say. That was pretty uh, wild looking. That the, His body exploded, like exploded right like when they that? hit him. Um, I wonder if there's going to be, like, so they're going, like, there's going to be elements from each of the, like, stories. books. Yeah. yeah, like the Seishis part. Yeah. So, yeah, like, it, it seems to be this... Mm -hmm amalgamation of, of multiple stories like a it's a goosebumps universe right mm -hmm. as opposed to like obviously with the original series you had the anthology element then with the movies you had them literally releasing the books into the world and you just kind of had them all running around all at the same time this one just seems to be incorporating elements this kind of reminds me of castle rock in that way mm -hmm. where it's like the stephen king universe is is available for the picking uh -huh. and so like anything that they want to draw inspiration from there can be easter eggs or there can be just straight up you know plot lines taken and, and put directly into it from you know as we we saw like say cheese or die like oliver had called out or uh, the cuckoo clock of doom like mm -hmm. Haley had pointed out or you know whatever you and then slappy obviously mm -hmm. is in here i mean goosebumps obviously he, um is is very bought into slappy uh he's probably the most iconic character from the books at this yes. point uh -huh. um but what do you guys think it looks it looks definitely like all the ideas are definitely taken from Goosebumps, and I think that it's basically so it's gonna be like a haunted house, and that guy's gonna get like taken over, and like all the things are gonna come to real life, and like those kids are gonna have to redo what their parents did. Do you think that 
like in the movies, do you think we're going to be dealing with them acknowledging the fact that these are Goosebumps stories? Because in the trailer, we don't get any reference to that. This is mm. going to be more of like a Goosebumps universe that isn't self-aware of itself. Oh. What do you think, Oliver? I have no idea. I mean, we, we so like obviously in the original in the in the original show, it was just adapting the books. In, yeah. the, in the movies, the, like Jack Black plays R. L. Stein, and the Goosebumps books are well known to the people, like yeah, they are to like, us, and it's very meta in that way. Yeah, like this doesn't seem uh -huh. this doesn't seem to be in reference to like oh we're in a Goosebumps story, right. all right? Like they don't even mention Goosebumps at all. And it's not going the anthology route either. It's kind of doing a mashup of what the movies did, where it's like it, the world comes to life all in one. Yeah. But also, it's it's referencing the the anthology style of like every story is is available um, for the show. The thing I always get mixed up is like I always think sh shows are going to be movies, like half the time. Like most of the shows, I like shows. So you I thought know, this was gonna be a movie? I don't think I. I don't know. I did. You thought this was gonna be a movie? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought, didn't know it was a show. I, I thought that was um, the Percy Jackson movie. I'm sure that's coming out. I thought that was a movie. Mm, for sure. You thought that was a movie? I thought Amber sent me was a movie. Yeah. I thought I think a lot of stuff was movies. So yeah, I mean, it, does that make you more or less excited that it's a TV series? I like. I I think I knew it was a TV series, but at first I thought it was a movie. I like shows better because they're longer. And you get so it's like you can obviously break up like a show into a movie. Mm -hmm. But I like I like shows better because it feels like they're in it more, mm -hmm. and more stuff can be followed. Because in the movie, you kind of have to like cram it all together and only follow the main storyline. With shows you can kind of expand it to more. Oh, there's this kind of side thing. Maybe we can clear this out too in this episode because mm -hmm. we have 45 minutes. We have 10 episodes. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you obviously have more time to explore all of the developments, and you get these like fun little cliffhangers to wait for at the end of each week, uh, like we're doing with Ahsoka right now on mm -hmm. Disney Plus. Um, so yeah, it, it's always fun. And will you guys be joining us for a week to week discussion of goosebumps? Does, do people have that to look forward to? You have me coming. Well, I don't know if <laughs> they want that. that. I don't know who that is. I guess. <laughs> I guess. So Elliot's having to be forced and Oliver will not be denied. <laughs> Got it. So look forward to Goosebumps episode by episode, week to week recaps by these recaps. lunatics and recaps. us. <laughs> the psychos. So, the psychos. Fun I mean, <laughs> this. Uh, yes. This is definitely. This is definitely missing the iconic dog from the opening credits. Seriously. But this film, You're this uh, this show, definitely still has the ability to throw him in there. Yeah. If I see a glowing dog I who barks a oh, song. What if they did like a what if they did like a redo of like the opening? Oh. Like the like the like little like the sound, sound, the book I, but then they redo it, but then it's like like a bigger budget. So like cooler, like <laughs> real than like the We could get it we could get like an updated version yeah. of that song for the opening credits for oh, sure. Oh it has to have the <laughs> I don't know about the that. The amount of times he has replayed that part of the song. He's we like, wanted to watch our episode so bad. It's yeah. hilarious. It's the best. And hi, you see it five times. It gets me every time. And hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> um, next, uh, that's in about three weeks from now ish. Um, so we will see you then and yeah. let us know if, if you're excited and if you, if everyone votes for the girls not to be there, um, We're they're going to be there even more. Even more. They're, they're going to be in every gonna review. Be there. It's only going to be them. It's going to be them only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll go back from wearing this to wearing Kaylee's hair and wearing this to wearing it and then Oliver will talk to the dad. <laughs> Just write me exactly what you're going to say and I'll do it. 
kids. <laughs> yeah, hey man, if you guys want to just see the kids doing the reviews yeah. for uh, this, I'd well, be down for that. Let's but it's going to be next week. pure chaos. <laughs> I'll tell you that. If I'm not here to keep them in line, oh my goodness. <laughs> I've seen how those go. It's not pretty. <laughs> so, all right, a few weeks, we'll be back and we'll talk about it then. What are you guys thinking? Let us know. Bye. You jumped the gun on the bye. <laughs>